Hey everybody, Paul here from Balladary Garden Centre in Letterkenny and today we're going to look at a, a plant, uh, planter. I'm here at the Ballyhoy Farm Shop in the new shop and we have these lovely wooden planters just over the front of the shop so we're going to do them up with some nice summer flowers. What we've done to start with is to line the sides of the, line the, sides of the pot with plastic. It already has drainage holes in the bottom so we've just put on some ordinary polythene around it which is going to help protect the timber from being exposed to the wet compost. So in terms of compost, you can actually use general multi-purpose compost. And what a lot of people like to do is to put an additives in it, like this stay wet gel, which helps with water retention in it, and you can add on your own fertilizers. Or what we tend to use is this stuff here, which is McCann's tub and basket compost. Uh, it's an Irish product and has, it has ready additives in it. It already has water retaining gel in to help with the water retention, and it has fertilizer to keep the plants going over the course of the three months or whatever the season will be. So next step now is to fill the pots of compost and we'll take it from there. So now we have our pots filled. We've filled them pretty much to almost the top but not quite to finish level. Uh, filled them with fresh compost that already has the nutrients and all added so we're good to go. And what in order to do a pot like this here, as it's got a barrier behind it there, so we're going to give it a good bit of height at the back and put in a few trail plants that are going to come down over the front of it. Give you a nice thing. And give you a nice sort of mound effect. We'll start in the middle and we will go highest in the middle and a bit sloped down to the two sides. So, so basically to start off with this nice wee osteospernum here, he's going to get a few inches bigger but not particularly. We're going to have these nice purple flowers all summer long, so it should be nice. So we will so maybe squeeze them out of the pot, put them out. Just take them out. I had already marked the middle of the pot there, so we know that he is going to be happy enough sitting there. Um, in terms of the plastic this year, I would always tend to go fairly symmetrical if possible. So we so to continue the higher in the middle of it. The more white version, the more or less the same thing. So the more white plastic for them. So we we'll put them in beside. So we'll put them in beside with a few inches to spare for even just to give them a bit, a bit more room to expand. There is the symmetry go. More one on this other side. color in pots like this here you can really sort of get deeply involved in your color scheme and that but in terms of something like this here especially the osteosperdoms you're going for a kind of a it's almost more a wildflower look and i would tend not to get too hung up on the flowers and doing it now in may time as well there is a lot of the plants won't be in flowers so it's very hard to get your scheme worked out right so i just tend to throw a lot of color at it and it'll turn out grand in the end so, so then we're two osteosperdoms in we are going to continue it on and as they're going to get higher we're going to get some of the wee bit weird to go with each side of so i think we might go for a couple of geraniums so, geraniums are great plants have been about for years been popular for years these particular ones are red you get them in various shades of things you can see them in whites and stuff like that too so once again you get them out of the pot gently squeeze put them all together and they'll tip out the right next Starting to come along quite nicely. You can keep it as tidy as you go, so you fall over yourself generally. So now we have our few assets for two geraniums at each side. And at this point, I'm going to add in a couple of marigolds. Now, marigolds are sort of a marmite plant, some people like them, some people don't. But uh, I quite like them, but they serve a very good purpose. Marigolds have a very strong smell, and as the summer goes on, the marigolds keep whenever they put out their strong smell. Aphids and that tend to avoid them slightly, so a lot of insects tend to stay away from them, and all they can smell is the marigolds, so they tend to stay away. So they have the effect of protecting your box a bit. So, whether you like them or not, you can even put a secret one in behind or something like that there, but it's always good to have one in just actually as a sort of a companion plant. So, once again, those six packs just squeeze, squeeze, and gently lift them out. Squeeze, squeeze, and gently lift them out. Once again, you can see here, it's as it's already made, the flowers haven't actually come along yet, which is good in one sense, and the fact of the matter, but it also can make it a wee bit harder to do your colour scheme. So what I'm going to do there is cause I like to put on two marigolds close together. And do the same on the other side. Oh. 
at this point, I was going to loop it in the back of the pot for it, so we're going to start to take a wee look at the front of it. Uh, for the front, you have loads of options, loads of nice options for trailing flowers. And we'll just take a wee look at some of them in a second. Right, so now now we have the back of our pot sort of coming along nicely. We're going to start constantly with the trailing boys at the front here. And a great thing that's come out in the last few years is like these plants here, they're called Trixies. But what they are, this one's crazy cocktail. There are actually three plants in the one pot. Most garden centers have them now. They're very good for doing boxes or doing baskets especially because you have a general mix pretty ready made, ready to go. So this one here has a Bivens in it, a Verbena, and there's actually a wee petunia as well starting to come along on it. So very good, a very good value for money whenever you take everything into consideration and they're brilliant in terms of give you an instant splash of colour and the group of them. So I think we'll put a couple in here. At the front just in the centre. And because they're so nice, I think I'll put it in a second one. So this here is pretty much similar. Once again, not always, you don't always get the same mixture in the plants, but once again, I don't get too hung up in colours, so we'll just set them in and hope for the rest. Take a wee hold, just keep with the pots so you're not forced too much in. Firm them in nicely. And so once again, you see here, I've sort of placed them slightly to the side, sort of in line of the gap of where the ones are, so we give a fuller effect. Um, after that there, the real start of the show in any summer stuff generally is your Surfina Petunia, which is a very good plant for filling in baskets and boxes like this here. Pretty much that plant over the next couple of months won't come down nearly as far as the ground. And very vigorous flower and very long lasting. So they're a very good plant to do something like this here. So we'll stick them in here. Give another general space as we go, and we can go back and put in wee flowers in it as we need to. So, just plug in here. Once again, you see, already see where we already have there's room for expansion in there, but we already have our box filling up nicely. And as you can see, the level of the compass is coming up now as well as we go along. And another wee favourite that generally can go at the back or the front is the pansy, or the, in this case, the violas. Uh, violas, brilliant wee plant. Uh, Violas are smaller flower than pansies in our Donegal climate. The smaller flower tends to work better because we tend to get a lot of strong winds about here and a lot of summer showers. So the violas tend to bounce back a bit better from us. So they kind of a lot more flowers. So they're generally very good as we go. So we might just stick in a couple of them at the front here. So let's get the squeeze, squeeze left out. So we'll put them sort of mid range um, just to give a fuller effect as we go. So we sort of halfway between the front, front and the back lines. If we're working on one side, we also have to work on the other side as well. And that is left a wee gap just in front from here, but we'll just alright, we'll fill him in as we go in a wee while. So we will. Um, another great plant for summer boxes, I guess here, another great trailer plant is the Bittens. This one is Blazing Fire, which is sort of an orangey look to it. You also get the wee yellow flowers as well, which is very nice. They are sort of slow to start, the end of July, August almost to the time they get going but they're actually great in the sense that they're very good at extending the season your basket for your pot. They'll still be going well up almost to Halloween if you have the right weather. So they're a brilliant plant for that there. And once again lovely colours. This particular one here is sort of orange yellow going on some warm colours. And then, so we'll stick them in here. And once again we'll put a new friend back in. Okay. Bass is coming along nicely. And once again, give a fuller effect, we're going to go to the viola again here. So another viola in sort of mid range, and it's going to give you a nice bit of coverage in front of these marigolds. One side, we'll do the other. Sometimes it's good to actually stand back and take a look and see how everything's coming along. How do we look and I'm fairly happy with how my pot's looking at the minute, so it's a matter of continuing. So we'll go back to the back again. Once again, while these marigolds that are quite small at the minute, they will grow. And so we need up to that sort of height, so it's alright, some of them a little bit bigger beside them. So what we could do here for a change would be 
uh, look at them, the, these wee geraniums here, nice flowers and different foliage too, but I, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan, I like the good old fashioned ones. So, we're going to stick in another one too. So, we'll stick in this time a nice pink geranium. So, we could so land them beside our marigold here. You see there, that's why it's important not to have too much compass on them because then it starts sort of getting in your own way as you go along. Um, another good guaranteed boy to perform very well in the summer is just the ordinary upright petunia. Similar to the trailing one, only it's no more upright habitat, so he's going to get to about 9 inches tall and fair all summer as well. Uh, we bit cheaper because they're available in six packs and generally come multi coloured. So, we'll so we'll just stick a wee one on here in the corner just to kind of finish this off. Coming with these boys here, so we have the purple, we're going to have the yellowy orangey here, and we might take another purple here just to give a good full effect. What we're going to do now is, if we've lost them, is get over here, get the wee violas, because we have a wee bit of space here, and we're sticking a wee viola. Um, generally, we call them multi colored. This packet here seems to actually be more white than anything else, which happens sometimes. But if you get them while they're flowered, you sort of you can pretty much pick the colors if you want. So, over here. And the last thing we're going to stick it over here, well, we'll take a look at it again, is these boys, the Reba Copas. They're actually great basket plants, a great container plants. Very delicate with them, these things, and these lovely, this one's purple, but you get them in blues and whites as well. So, lovely wee flowers that uh, would perform very well in the summer. And once again, because they're quite small flowers, they'll actually recover very well if they do take a bathroom in the wind. There's one coming down here. So, here we go. Stick him in here. back to that in a wee second and do the sort of once again continue with symmetry but what you can do then is if you have wee plants like that there you get stuff like the trail and lobelia very much small wee plants and these owls should be the same thing in the trail and habitat and where they're not going to get that huge and they're not going to be that big a performers over the summer they're very good at gap for them so this is owls in here nice white leaf there i will spread a couple of them so it's a bit delicate to get out and we'll have a wee gap here in the corner There, um, once again towards the center, a wee bit of a gap. So, I will stick in another one of the alishers. Just gently take them out of the pot. And here, as we do it. So, just to finish up, I'll go back and do the other side of my pot as it was gone. So once again, keep the symmetry going. After the marigolds, we have our geranium. Trailing Petunia, once again our surfing it, which is going to do well for us all summer long. Um, once again, except for the last one again, there's maybe violas over the left. Here they are. So squeeze, squeeze, and gently lift out. And our Bacopa for the corner. Once again, where I'm working here is sort of stones, it's not, it's not the end of the world, but a compass falls. If you're working right, you're driving or something like that, there's a good idea to get up on a tall team and sort of generally cover up the road, right? which makes people up a lot easier. Let's see what it does. Um, so, we'll that film out. So, once again, that round and off, we'll stick in there a couple of wee allergens. And over here. And that's pretty much our pot done. Um, whereas the pot looks grand now, 
the, the main problem with being a gardener is that the actual, the day you plant the pots, not the day it's going to look perfect. Whereas you paint your, paint your house, it's going to look perfect that evening, that's the best it can possibly look. Whenever you do something in the garden, you're actually looking to the future. And it'll be like, it'll be like a month before that, it's looking its absolute best. So it'll give always something to look forward to. So that one done now, and I think we look at it in a second. So that, so that's our two planters done now. Um, I think they look pretty good. So they do, and they should set off the front of the shop nicely. They're not quite symmetrical, but once they all flare up, I don't think it'll matter a while lot.